Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to be showing you how to make a simple Christmas tree using Tinkercad. If you like this video and would like to see more on this project, such as how to add decorations to your tree, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel or liking the video so that I know people are interested. With that being said, let's get right into it. The first thing that we're going to have to do is go to Tinkercad and we are going to create a new code blocks design. Once we're loaded in, we'll go to the blue shapes tab and we will scroll down until we find the cyan star, which we will drag in. Once we've done so, we will click this arrow and we are going to adjust some of the values here. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the number of sides from 5 to 12. We will go over to the radius and we will change it from 20 to 40. In the inner radius percent, we will change it from 0 0.5 to 0 0.7. And H, which stands for height, we will change from 10 to 25. Once we've done that, we will go over to the purple modify tab. The first command we will have to drag in is the scale X, Y, and Z command. And we will drag that in so it snaps onto the bottom. We will keep X at one, we will keep Y at one, but Z we will change from one to two. After that, we will go over to the copy command and we will drag that in as well. Next, we will go to the rotate command, drag it in, and we will rotate around the X axis, but we will change it from 90 to 180 degrees. After that, we will go to the move command Add that to our program, and we will keep X at zero, Y at zero, but we will change Z to negative 50. After that, we can press play and see what we've done so far. As you can see, we have created two stars, flipped one upside down, and lowered it so that their bases match. This is the basic shape that we will be using to create our entire Christmas tree. However, in order to turn it into one solid shape, you will have to go down to the create group command, drag that in, and because I want this Christmas tree to look good, I'm going to change the color from cyan to something a little bit more Christmassy. If we check our work one more time, we can see that now it's a nice red shape. Our next step for creating our Christmas tree is to take this shape that we've created, duplicate it, raise it up, shrink it down, and continue. In order to do that, we will go to the Modify tab and we will drag in a copy command. I'm going to change the color of this copy from red to green. And then I will go ahead and drag in a move command. Make sure it snaps to the bottom. And I'm going to move our new shape up 25. So 25 on Z. After that, I will go to the scale command and drag it in, and I'm going to change it from 1 to 0.8 in order to make our new shape a little bit smaller. Next, I'll drag in a rotate command. We will be rotating around the Z axis, and we will be rotating by 45 degrees. Now if we test our code again, we can see we've 
created our first shape, created a duplicate, scaled it down, and rotated it. Next, we'll go and drag in another copy command. I'm going to change the color back to red. After that, we'll drag in another move command. This time, we will move it up 15. We'll drag in another scale command, change it to 0.8, drag in a rotate command, and rotate around the z-axis by 45 degrees. Copy again. I'll change the color to green for this one. We'll drag in a move command. This time I'm going to set Z to 11. We'll drag in another scale command. Change it to 0.8. Drag in rotate. Rotate around the Z axis by 45 degrees. Another copy. This one I'll change to white. We'll drag in another move command. This time I'll set the Z to 8. Drag in a scale command. Change it to 0.8. We'll drag in another rotate command. Rotate around the z-axis by 45 degrees. Now, if we press play, we can check all of our work so far. And we can see how our Christmas tree is being made. If you'd like a taller Christmas tree, you can continue to add new sections on. Or if you'd like a larger one, you might want to adjust the scale of your initial one first. With that being said, the last thing that we need to do is chop off the bottom of our Christmas tree so we have a nice flat surface that's ready for 3D printing. In order to cut off the bottom of our Christmas tree, what we will do is we will go back to the Shapes tab and we are going to drag in a box shape. We are going to change this box shape from a solid to a Hole by clicking on the textured thing right here. And then we will click on this arrow and we will be changing the dimensions of the box. We will change the width to 80, the length to 80, and the height to 80 as well. After that, we'll go back to the Modify tab and we will drag in a move command. We will set the Z to negative 65. And last, we will drag in a create group command. Now, if we press play and watch our work one final time, we can see whether or not we've successfully cut off the bottom of our Christmas tree. And there we go, a Christmas tree ready to be exported as an STL, sliced and printed. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, if you'd like to see a second video on adding decorations to the tree, please consider liking the video or subscribing so that I know people are interested. Either way, happy holidays and I hope to see you soon.